Hello guys, welcome to a new video with Hello It's Fangirl. Today we're going to talk about Heta Vision, which is Italia and Eurovision Song Contest. <coughs> Sorry. Anyways, I'm going to be talking about different things throughout Eurovision and Itali adding with Italia comments with what I think about the character, what they think about the characters within it. What we're going to be talking about is, okay, that didn't want to, we're going to talk about the winner this year. We're also going to be talking about the never won Eurovision club. Basically the ones that never won Eurovision. Just a club about it. We're also going to talk about the Nordics and the Big Five plus Ukraine. The trios, I, they, I'll explain that one when we get there. And to the non qualifiers as well, I only will mention one there. And that's basically the qualifier. I'm so mad didn't make it. And I'm into no qualifiers for now. A final. And last but not least, personal winner slash winners. You guys ready? Let's go. First, we're going to talk about the winner who, for the first time, was Portugal. Portugal have been a part of it 43 times. No, 53 times, man. 53 times been in Eurovision. And this is the first win. The song is in full. Portuguese, no English. It's called. I need to see what is it called, guys. What is it called? It's called. Wait for it. Wait. For it, wait. Wait. Please. Amar pelos dois. I'm sorry if I get like a Spanish pronunciation on it. Is because I'm Spanish at school and yeah. Anyways, it was a deserved win because it was a song that was not in English and then that last time that happened was in 2007. No. Ukraine did not have a full on English song yes last year. They had actually some English in it if you paid good enough attention. And uh, yeah, it was really good to see a song that was that didn't have English text when even though it wasn't my favorite uh, spoiler for that. So it's not my favorite. I it was a cute song though and it warmed hearts of it warmed a lot of hearts. And for the first time in a while the juries and the televotes Agreed. As far as I know, it was, I don't know, I know in 2009 they agreed, and, yeah. But in 2017, they, it happened again, and it's on Portugal, and I'm really pleased. Like, first time winning. There was none Eurovision, they never won Eurovision club. These people have never, these countries never won Eurovision. Portugal used to be, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm still sick. Portugal used to be the uh, president, I think, of this club. I think that that's happened. So now he just kind of went, who of you losers are going to take over for me? <laughs> and understanding Finland, who used to be the leader, as far as I know. I think Finland used to be the leader. And then won in 2006, and then like, Portugal had been the leader for 11 years. And now it's like, who of these losers should get it? Or maybe, maybe he should give it to the newest member Australia and he was like haha nope said everybody else and gave to Iceland. People were totally agreed to serve to take the lead apparently. I um, I think Iceland now is the leader of the never one year vision club thing. But I think that his second in command is either Bulgaria, Romania, Poland or Lithuania, who probably is very like active within this club because it's like we wanna win. Didn't seem like it for Lithuania this year though, but like I see it with Poland, I see it with Romania, Yodelaid, and I most definitely see it with Bulgaria. <laughs> yeah, so I think that Iceland is now the leader of the Never One Eurovision Club. My bro, as I would like to say, because I cosplay from Norway in my free time. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah. So, um, that's the Never One Eurovision Club, they have a new president, which is Iceland, and, yeah, that's what I think. Let's go next, since we already spoken about the Nordic, let's talk about the Nordics. We're starting off with everybody's supposedly favorite, Sweden. I don't see it. <laughs> I think the singer was a tad bit cringy on stage, I'm sorry if you guys disagree. But I feel, felt that he was a little bit cringy and all, and I was like, what the hell? <sighs> and, yeah. It wasn't exactly most deserved. Finland had a touching ballad. 
and didn't make it and this ballad was probably because it was a dark horse I think like it was it was dark it was dark but I think that it deserved it more than Sweden so yeah Denmark is next and Denmark I can tell you guys Yes, I'm Norwegian, but just like I have some people who says Norway is not all abusive, so it's Denmark. And I'm going to tell you one thing. Denmark song. No comment. Denmark singer. Goals. Okay, her voice uh, was not such a high level that it was incredible, whilst the song had a lower level, in my opinion. Like, if you think of it as, like, levels, like, with Pokemons and such, her singing... But was like five billion levels higher than the song. Okay, not that much, but a lot. It was a lot higher. The song was good, but her voice was even better. So she sh probably should have had a better song to sing for it to have been gone better. But other than that, Denmark's song was really good. Next, Iceland. And Iceland had an amazing song. It was at my second favorite of the Nordics. But I think the staging ruined it. I think that was what happened, and the way she was dressed also ruined it, really. I was at a bet with my dad, if for those of you who remember that, it was that Iceland would give 12 points to Denmark, and it didn't happen. And I know the televoting didn't do it either, because Denmark would only like 8 points, if I remember correctly. If that wasn't 8 points from Iceland, then Denmark better feel lucky. Or I don't know. I don't know. Moving forward, we're going to talk about Norway, and I think Norway was the best of the Nordics. I'm not saying this as a Norwegian, I'm saying this as a person who genuinely likes Norway song. And I'm not also, like, I'm not also saying this as a person that happened to have a Norway from his highly aspirated character, like I said, it's because I genuinely really like the song. It has a, uh, it's like, it has a strong message, it is, how should I say it? It's just a strong message, but he has such a soft voice, and it's such a song that you want to dance to. So yeah, I had a Eurovision party yesterday, and we did do that. Moving forward to the Big Five plus Ukraine. I'm going to talk about the different ones, what I had thought on them. And then I'm going to take it on the level of how much I hate like them. Germany. Why? Her voice was amazing. The song was horrendous. No. But she also failed a little bit in, during the finals. Spain's song fit Spain, but it's not your original material and it was too repetitive. Thank you, Ukraine, for giving us the only rock song this year, like proper rock song, and therefore I, I salute you for that. Yeah. Uh, so we want to do my top three of the big five plus Ukraine, and we have France. And France sent an amazing song just like last year, ended up at 12th, which was 6th place or lower than last year. And by the way, guys, did you know France was my favorite last year, actually? The mayor was amazing. This year, Alma was also a really, really good. But I think that last year was better for France, and I hope they will keep up their game, though, because they have always stayed top 15. My second favorite was UK, and England looks surprised. The reason I chose this was because England finally got a top 15 place. The last time this happened was, I think, in 2011, and before that, 2009. So, UK had really been a very low placed earlier, but this year, the UK really did deserve getting a high placing, and I'm very pleased for that, because they were in my top 10, as far as I remember. So, great, great job. For England, Lucy is an amazing singer, and for the fact that it's Lucy Jones, yes, yeah, that's been at least my favorite for the Big Five plus Ukraine was Italy. Francesco Gavagni was amazing, and I even have an Italian flag on my finger. I actually painted a freaking Italian flag on my finger, so that says a lot. And therefore, I great job, Italy. Amazing song, amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you for that song. I think I'm gonna end it here and then I'm gonna continue next time with the trios. And you get a little bit of a tiny clip from it, so I hope to see y'all later. And yeah, namaste, ale, see y'all later, and bye.